What is up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Dom Designs here and in today's tutorial I will show you how to turn a sketch of a pear and turn it into a vibrant flat vector illustration. Without wasting any time, let's get into this tutorial. Let's begin by opening Adobe Illustrator and creating a canvas size of 1080 pixels by 1080. We will then import the sketch by pressing Command Shift P on our keyboard. If you're on a PC, replace Command for the control key. Now let's turn this sketch into a reference layer. Go down to the layers panel and double click on the icon. This will bring up a box. Make sure to check on the template option and this will dim down the opacity by 50% automatically. Go back to the layers panel and create two layers. Name them outline and color. Then go to the color panel and make sure you have a black stroke with no fill. Go to the stroke panel and use a 10 points thickness and make sure to round up the caps and the corners. Alright, so we will begin by creating the outline of the illustration. For starters, I will use the ellipse tool and create a perfect circle while holding shift on my keyboard. Try to line it up with the bottom right of the pair. Once we're happy with the circle, with the direct selection tool selected, delete the top anchor point. Now using the bottom right of the pair as a base, let's continue tracing the outside of the pair. For this, I will use the pen tool. Don't worry about overlapping the lines, we will correct these later. At the top of the pair, let's create the crease. And now using the circle tool, we will create the top of the stem. With the pen tool, create a straight line to create the stem. We will then curve these lines using the curvature tool. With the pen tool, let's continue the illustration by creating the leaf. Once again, don't worry about overlapping the lines. To clean up the overlapping lines, we will use the help of the Shape Builder tool. Select the two overlapping lines and activate the Shape Builder tool. On your keyboard, hold the Option or the Alt key and select the line you wish to delete. I'll do the same for the leaf and for the stem. So the outline is almost done, but I want to do one more thing. Let's taper all the lines using the help of the width tool. With this tool selected, click on the stroke and vary the thicknesses. Make sure to have a tapered effect just like this. Alright, so now that the outline is completed, let's add the base colors. So let's prepare this outline for coloring. Select everything and head over to the layers panel. Hold the Option or Alt key on your keyboard and drag this little green square below to the red square. What we did is do an exact copy onto the color layer. Make sure to lock the outline layer and then hide it. We will then delete all the small details and keep the main shapes. For the next step, head over to the edit menu at the top and outline the strokes. Now let's turn the strokes into actual shapes. For this, we will use the Pathfinder panel and click on the Unite button. To finalize, we will right click and select Release Compound Path. Select the black shape and delete it. Now you will be able to select the shapes individually and apply a default color to it. For this example, I will use the color gray. Now that the illustration is ready for coloring, we will start selecting each individual shape and assigning a color to it. For the stem, I will use a brown from my Dom Designs color palette, which you can download using my Etsy link in the description. For the main pear shape, we will give it a radial gradient. Select the shape and click on the gradient icon. To activate the gradient tool, you can press the letter G on your keyboard. Make sure you have the light side on the left and the dark side on the right. For the pair, I will give it a yellow gradient from the left side 
to a bright green for the right side. For the leaf, I will give it a light green for the left side and a dark green for the right side. To finish off the illustration and give it some life, we will add some shadows and highlight. Starting with the stem. Using the ellipse tool, let's create a dark brown circle and place it like so. Selecting both the shape of the stem and the circle, activate the Shape Builder tool. Just like before, hold the Option or the Alt key on your keyboard to delete the unwanted shape. Following the same method, let's apply a shadow to the leaf. Now let's apply a highlight going along the side of the leaf. Select the leaf shape and head over to the top menu and do a copy and paste in front two times. This will create three shapes superimposed on each other. Selecting the top shape, move it to the right side like so. Then selecting the top shape and the shape right beneath it, activate the Shape Builder tool. And just like we did before, delete the unwanted shape. Let's give the highlight a bright green. Just like we did for the leaf, I will add shadows and highlights to the main pear shape. Go to the Layers panel and create a layer beneath everything and name it Background. Give the background a bright green color and then with the Circle tool, create a shadow that will go right beneath the pair. Alright, this is coming out really nicely. Finally, let's give the illustration some final touches. Let's add small circles to the right side of the pair to give it some texture. And there you have it, this is how you create a flat vector design from Sketch in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask in the comments below. See you in the next video and cheers everyone!